Welcome to Techzilla Bytes, feed your tech hunger fast. I'm Patrick Norton, and today we are going to take a look at Roku's little purple streaming stick, which I can sum up in one sentence. For 50 bucks, you get all the easy to use streaming video goodness and zillions of channels you expect from a Roku box, except in a small purple HDMI stick that hides behind your TV. Okay, that was a really long sentence, and the streaming stick is a little more complicated than that. Like Google's Chromecast, the streaming stick comes with an external power supply. Unlike the Chromecast, there's a standalone remote control in the box, and it's pretty much the classic remote control from Roku, except that it has some additional buttons for Netflix, Amazon, Blockbuster, and MGO. Just plug the Roku streaming stick in the back of your TV, plug in the USB power supply, sign up for a Roku account, and then add channels. In my house, Netflix and Amazon Instant Video are the most used, but we've been known to watch YouTube, Vudu, Pandora, Crunchyroll, and a ton of others. HBO Go, Hulu, there are Roku channels for that. Want to stream your media collection to the Roku stick? Load the Plex app or one of the secret private channel apps to let you emulate, airplay, or DLNA playback. Sure, there are thousands of channels you probably won't care about on the Roku. There must be 700 church channels, and I'm sure some of them disagree. But as long as you're not looking to play movies you bought from iTunes or the Google Play Store, you should be good to go. And if you're creative, you might even get those to work. Of course, streaming video boxes are all about streaming video, and, well, look, it's a Roku box. 1080p video streaming looks great. Might take a wee bit longer than the Roku 3 to spool up your video, but other than that, it's fine, looks good. There's no ethernet on the stick, so you want one of the Roku boxes if you have trouble getting a Wi-Fi signal by your HDTV. And if your TV doesn't have HDMI inputs, this is not the Roku box for you. The stick's remote control doesn't have the super awesome headphone jack like the remote on my Roku 3, but it is half the price and the remote is RF, aka radio frequency, which means you can point it any direction you want. No IR line of sight action, so your stick can stay safely hidden behind your HDTV. But that's about all you give up for the super slim hidden form factor. You can control the stick via Roku remote app on iOS or Android, which is beloved by just about all of the thousands of people that have reviewed it. I'm a Roku fanboy, no hiding it, but to be honest, I run an Apple TV, a Chrome stick, and a home theater PC at home too, along with a Blu-ray player. And while I wouldn't give up my Roku 3 for a Roku streaming stick, the interface on the Roku 3 is faster, and that headphone jack built into the Roku 3 remote is way awesome for catching up on TV when my kids are asleep. This is a great option for half the price. And while the Amazon Fire has that cool voice search, it currently does a weak job of searching non-Amazon Prime video sources. Roku search looks at tons of apps, including Netflix, Hulu Plus, Amazon Instant Video, Crackle, Voodoo, HBO, Go Blockbuster On Demand, Redbox Instant, just about everything that can run on the Roku. Which reminds me, i got to figure out if I can run our sponsor, audiblepodcast.com slash techzilla, get a free audiobook, on the Roku box. I mean, usually I listen in the car or on my iPhone when I'm commuting, but audiobooks on the Roku box? Got to check that out. Hey, while I'm talking, the Roku platform offers way more channel options than the Apple TV, and it's just as child and non-techy friendly, but the Apple TV is pretty much your only option for a lot of iTunes content. If you want games, I'd definitely roll with the Amazon Fire TV, and if you live in Amazon, on instant video, the Fire's voice search is pretty cool. And that about sums it up for the Roku streaming stick and just about every other popular streaming box on the planet. Let us know what box you use to watch video down in the comments. Please subscribe at youtube.com slash techzilla or techzilla.com. And hey, feel free to tweet at techzilla. I've been Patrick Norton, and thank you so much for watching.